Hello, uh, I'm going to present in English, so thank you for the introduction, uh, thank you for the opportunity to be here. So as was said, my name is Wojciech Harde, I'm a member of the Group for Research in Applied Economics at the University of Warsaw, and for over two and a half years we've been, among other things, we've been researching intellectual property, uh, thank you, intellectual property rights on the internet, and today I'm going to present the results of a year-long field experiment that we did together with Michał Krawczyk and Jan Naturowicz. It is on internet piracy and book sales. So, uh, just as technology evolved as internet became more spread and read, e book readers became available at the market and they became more and more popular, book publishers started worrying about what they s saw. And by what they saw, I mean that books started appearing on the in internet much like music and movies before them. So what was previously made in a major way the problem of movie and music industries started becoming a worry also of the book publishers. And while there were many studies on uh, music and movie file sharing's impact on sales. There haven't been uh, none that we knew uh, when we started the experiment about uh, the books. So, what we want, the question we wanted to answer was whether the book industry actually had to worry about file sharing that became more and more a uh, popular way to get books. So, there, ha there has, have been some studies on book file sharing, uh, but they were mostly on small sample of books. Uh, so, while they found mostly that making your ebooks available for free can boost your sales, these were usually studies by, for example, the publisher itself or the author itself who published the free versions on his own or her own website. So this was this case studies more of where for a couple of titles usually from a specific genre, like for example a few books uh, about religion. They were often f with data from very short periods, so it's possible that the results were also driven by some seasonal effects. For example, we could expect that during at the time of Christmas, the book sales would go up. And they wa weren't actually on piracy per se, so they were about publishers sharing their own titles. So the people actually had to come to their website. They probably uh, had some reputation gained due to, due to this. And piracy that, or file sharing that happens uh, on the internet is a much different phenomenon. So there was one larger study that uh, appeared only recently, and the findings from this study mostly support ours, and I'll come back to this later during the conclusion stage. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to address these uh, issues like the sample size so we could extend our results to the market in general, and we wanted to look at many segments and we wanted to make it clear that we're looking at causality and not correlation merely. So what we did was we contacted 70 of Polish publishers, which was no easy task, let me tell you, and 11 of them eventually agreed to take part in our experiment. So what we asked them to do is to provide us with some book titles that we could use for the experiment and along with the data on these books. So we knew, for example, the segments, the prices, the numbers of pages of the books and importantly, sales forecasts of these books. This way we got around 250 books that we could observe and analyze from some medium and larger publishers. We had some little-known titles, but we also had some big bestsellers. 
and we had a whole range of segments from law through fantasy to course books. So what we did once we had the 250 titles is we looked at the characteristics and by looked I mean that we applied statistical procedures and the characteristics like I said the sales forecast, the segments, the publishers, the date of publishing, etc. And we matched them into pairs of very comparable titles so that in each pair we would have two books that we would expect to have share similar future revenues. So once we had these pairs, we randomly chosen one book from each of the pair and assigned it to the protection group. And here we got help from the company Plagat.pl, um, which was very kind of them and we wouldn't have been able to do this without them. So what they did is they actively searched for the books that we were protecting on the internet and if there were any unauthorized copies available, they would send takedown notices and they would do all their best to have them removed. And with the second book from each pair, we, we, uh, we put it in the no intervention group, as I will refer to it. And we did nothing to them. We only observed them. Plagetpel searched for them, so we knew if they were shared on the internet, but they didn't ask for them to be removed. So what we had was two, were two groups that were very comparable at the start, but we applied protection to one of them, and we did nothing to the second one. And this lasted for a whole year. For a whole year, we had protected one of the groups, and what we see here is that when we apply no intervention, then the number of co copies available on the internet gradually increased. While in the second group, this, these are the numbers that Plaget Pell reported, we had a quick plunge down to zero, and it remained close to that level. We also asked three research assistants to double check this, so we asked them to search for books from both of the groups, and they found it much more problematic to find the ones that we protected. So, I guess we could say we defeated the file sharing when we wanted to, but when, after this period, we acquired the sales data from the publishers, and we could perform the statistical analysis, well, the findings were contrary to most of the, or all of the participating publishers expected. We found no difference in the two groups. So the one shared on the internet and the one that wasn't shared for the whole year period. And it was neither for the level of sales during that period or for the distribution of the sales. And by that I mean that there was no change that, I don't know, could mean that the mean level of sales remained the same, but maybe some of them got higher and some of them got lower in the same time. So to double check our strategy, we controlled for all the book characteristics, so we tried, you know, correcting for maybe the effect was different for different segments, for different formats, whatever, not formats, sorry, but we also controlled for whether there was an ebook available which could affect the quality and the number of available copies. And again, we found no result, no difference between the two groups. So we also checked whether it differed between the books that were popular and the books that were and not very well known and had little sales. But again, we found no effect for any of the groups. So just to conclude, we performed a large field study that was uh, robust to many uh, limits faced in the literature. I mean, we didn't have any seasonal effects that could cause the results, we had a large sample from different genres. We could control for book characteristics, but we found no impact on book sales. And something we need to note, note here is that we looked at physical book sales. And this might be actually very different for ebook sales, which we couldn't study because there isn't much ebook selling right now happening in Poland. I mean, there is some, of course, and it's evolving quickly but not to the degree that we could study it with the samples we had. So, but what uh, Imke Reimers did is 
She also looked at the paperback uh, books and she found no impact of piracy on the sales. And she also looked at ebooks and found that there is an effect there that actually file sharing may displace uh, authorized sales of ebooks. And this is all. Thank you very much. And if you want to read more about research, please visit our website. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much.